Oh god, oh god. I'm late. I'm late. This is my first day on the job and I'm late. God, Dean's gonna be so mad. Watch, well, she's gonna be so pissed at me when I get there. Alright, this looks like the place. It doesn't look like there's anyone here. What can I do for you? Hi. I... I like to hire... Yeah, a private investigator. I need someone to check out an investigation for me, and... I... I like to file out a police report on somebody. Okay. Uh, can I get your name and... Who you filed the police report? And the one who you filed the police report against? My name, my name, my name is Mike Wenson, and the police report is against Johnny Menevict. Ah, oh, yeah. Mike Wenson. You're supposed to be up here at that Plaza Hotel next week. Yes. And um, what are you reporting your reporting Jeff? Well, actually, he's my cousin. I'm reporting him for murder. Hey, hey, it's nice to meet you. You must be, um, Mike. You must be Mike. I'm, uh, I'm Wilson. I'm the, I'm the, I'm a detective police sergeant. And I heard that the, the cons bought the desk that you, that you, that you were reporting your cousin for first degree murder. Yes, that is correct. Alright. Need to you to bring out your information. So tell us, who was Johnny? Johnny, he's my cousin. He was recently a bio a biogenetic scientist. Tis who was supposed who used to work on experimental stuff such as drugs. Such as drugs. He even worked on experiments of the brain, even some of long distant memories that never even occurred. So the information told us that Johnny suffered from PTSD. 
He was suffering from post-traumatic stress. He... His old research facility was shut down due to him sleeping with everyone in the office. But after that, he opened his own called Biosyn. It was recently a... Genetics lab for like for making like animals even bigger, but he modified it and made it to work on stuff like the brain and memories that never even occurred. So the the file also told us that Johnny Johnny was recently arrested. Recently, he was recently arrested with sleeping with everyone in the office for being a pervert. He also did it to several staff, and and after that, when he escaped prison, he ran away with his wife, but last year she was murdered by him. And it's because he suffers from PTSD, which makes his post-traumatic instance of his, his, his time in prison, but makes him more active. The file says that he was working on an experimental drug before his death. Yes. It's called Bion Fade Fiber. It was supposed it was developed to help with people with PTSD or forget about the post-traumatic instance. When you take it, it basically stops like information going to the long-term memory and makes all post-traumatic stress incidents die down instantly. So where did you work and where was this created? I don't understand what this has to do with anything. The nature of his research can help us pinpoint the exact events that, that led to Dean's death and a place where we can proceed to his arrest. His findings, what were they? Well, after he created the drug, he, he wanted more. He took one bite of he took one bite of the drug, but suddenly it changed, and it made his post-traumatic instant come back. After that, he went on a killing spree and killed everyone in the fucking office. Can you explain what happened to the drug after that? Well, the play was shut down by the CIA and the army. Johnny was never found, but he lived in the Plaza Hotel, but when I got there, all I found was Dean's remains. <laughs> and, yeah. So what? So what happened to the drug? Did they just scrap it? Throw it out like trash? Or, or what? No, see, Johnny found a buyer, or, or a buyer found him. Who? Dean Jeffries? He was... He's, he used to be the secretary DA of... Of the city? So you're telling me the DA wanted the drug. Can you explain? Well... He wanted to change the world by, by making criminals forget about... About everything that would help teach them a lesson. But suddenly after that, it never worked. All it did, all he wanted to use for it, he wanted to make villain, he wanted to make criminals forget about their families, even how they walk. Did you not approve of this? Look, Mike, I don't know why you're making this so hard on yourself. All I want to do is change the world by using the drug and getting rid of all criminals. You know what the drug does, right? You make, you're gonna make criminals forget about their families, everything they worked for, and that's how you want to change the world? Look, Johnny's worked 15 years on this drug and somehow it still works, but when he fled, it still works. So, we will use it anyway, because there's nothing I can do. It's wrong. The drug was developed to help people, not to be used as a weapon. I know, but, but 
There's nothing I can do. The government and Homeland Security want me to do it either way, so there's nothing I can do. This is your years after the line, Dean. You're going to hear him to sell out. So, so was that your last contact with Dean? Yeah, it was. Yesterday. So that was your last contact with Dean? Yeah, and he never called back, and I found a dead body in the in the Plaza Hotel that was supposed to open, but now we have to shut it down until this criminal is caught. Until my cousin is caught. You have security footage in the hotel, right? Yeah. Is it possible if you can show me the footage on the screen here about this murder? Yes. Alright. Hold it right there! This is the cold CS! It's you. I could smell you getting off the elevator. <laughs> and you was here last night too, wasn't ya? Yes, sir. I was. Dear. And you were smooching with my brother. Oh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. Hey, you fucker. You've been smooching with everybody. Snuffy, Al, Leo, little mole with a gimpy leg, Cheeks, Bony Bob, Donald Trump, CP3PO, and Cliff. Don't! Hey, shit! Hey! Shut up! Shut up, you shitbag! Now! Sir, I think your decision! <sighs> You're really pissing me off here, now! Get down on your knees and tell me you love me! That I didn't hear you. I love you. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but it's but it would sound a lot nicer if you said it a lot louder next time. So I will ask you. Next time, I'm gonna say next time. Get the fuck out of my hotel. Right. That's it. I will ask you one more fucking time. Better be loud and fucking clear. You're the fucking cops on your ass. You got me at gunpoint here. You gotta do better than that. Just so you don't shoot me in the head. I love you. Much, much, much better. Now. now. Maybe I'm getting my dick in the wrong place, but, but maybe I'm off her hinges. But I believe you. That's why I'm gonna let you go! Oh my god, thank god, thank fuck! <laughs> you actually let me go, yeah. I'm gonna give you to the count of three to get your lousy, lying, low down, four flushing carcass out my door! One! Man, I'm door. Two! Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. I'll save 
Hey, you know, it's a fucking emergency. All right. Same day, get out of the night. It's got a fucking fucking Perfect. One lovely death. What? What the fuck was that? Oh shit.